All right, welcome everybody. My name is Aaron Wilson. Uh, most of you know me. Uh, I am the CEO here at My Mortgage Trainer and the founder of a cool little thing called Cheddar Stacks right there. I, I was a little backwards. Um, and joining me today for this particular webinar is uh, two of my best buddies uh, that I've met through training uh, over the years that are both involved with this, uh, with this program called Cheddar Stacks, which is a virtual networking platform, which is super cool. And so who I have with me today as my uh, guests are Linda McGinnity, who is with uh, AmeriFirst, and Amy Valdivia, who is with AFN Corp. And you guys, they can attest, they are actual MLOs, right? Yes, like, <laughs> yes <yeah>. they are. <laughs> they are legit, full-time, out there trying to get it, right? MLOs. <laughs> and uh, uh, Amy, um, uh, can you tell everybody where you're from, uh, location-wise and all that, and where you are licensed in? And I am located in Southern California, specifically Upland, California, which is, for those of you who don't know, um, I'm in the Inland Empire, which is basically the suburbs of LA. <laughs> um, not necessarily Orange County. Um, I'm San Bernardino County. I'm also licensed in Arizona and Nevada as well. The company is licensed across the nation, but my particular licenses are those three states. All right, awesome. And can everybody hear Amy okay? Gary, Evan, Christina, Angela, can everybody hear Amy okay? Hit me on that chat log on the bottom right hand side and let me know. You should be able to, okay, cool, awesome, awesome. Thanks so much, thanks so much, I appreciate it. I probably should have asked if you could have heard me from the beginning. Usually, <laughs> usually it's roll call, rules of conduct, shoot me, you know. All right, yeah. So Linda, uh, could you tell everybody um, uh, about yourself as far as uh, what company, well I think I told them what company you work for. Sure, I'm Linda McGinnity. I'm with AmeriFirst Home Mortgage. Um, I'm a mortgage loan officer in Elkhart and South Bend, Indiana. Home of Notre Dame, mm. proud of that. <laughs> um, I'm licensed in Indiana and in Michigan. Awesome, awesome. Well, again, thank you ladies uh, for coming out and being part of this today. So uh, let me just preface uh, for everybody here. So uh, Amy and Linda both joined the Cheddar Stacks uh, platform when we launched uh, late first quarter, I would say, of this April. year. Yeah, so we've been in a beta, you guys, uh, since uh, since the, uh, the the end of the first quarter of 2018. And so, um, you know, we've had some people come in and sign up, and I think a lot of people had good intentions, like, oh man, this sounds like a great idea, and then all of a sudden they realized, oh man, I got to put a little effort into this. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Aaron, I thought you were just going to send me leads. No, you know, it doesn't work like that. You know, you got to put, it's like anything else. You got to put a little effort into it, right? And so anyway, so some people signed up and had these fantastic intentions and then nothing. It's like crickets, right? Crickets. And so, but that's okay. You know what? Uh, I trudged on anyway and, you know, I kept writing and I kept recording and I kept sending stuff out and I kept encouraging and, you know, some people caught on and, and, uh, and, and others just never did. They were just like a failure to launch type of scenario. And that's just the way it went. But these two here um, have been uh, my, my uh, exemplary uh, pupils, students, followers, uh, believers, I don't know what they are, but they're fantastic and I love them to death. So I invited them to come out here today to talk to you guys a little bit about what I believe to be the you biggest. Sound really good, Linda. All right. The biggest. <laughs> what? Fear. Yeah, <laughs> we do. <laughs> you guys are. I believe this to be the biggest fear of, of people getting started. And so just a real quick preface, you guys, Cheddar Stacks in and of itself is it's not necessarily, you know, business networking is, is not, you know, we didn't come up with this idea, but what we did do is we modernized it. Okay. So instead of, you know, and there's nothing wrong with BNI, except for in most cases, if you know where a BNI group is, you can't get in it. Right. You know, mm, because yeah. unless you're already the MLO in it, because again, it only allows one person in each profession in that group. Right. So the idea was, well, wait a minute, why should all my clients, if they aren't already in a networking group, be locked out? 
what if we just showed them how to build their own, but then we put another twist on it and we built this mobile platform so they don't have to necessarily show up every Wednesday at 7 a.m. and collect a bunch of stale leads from people who are worried they're going to get kicked out because they aren't providing a bunch of stale leads to people. On paper, nonetheless, which I can't believe. And so we modernized it. And so now we use a mobile app. Uh, where you can send leads to each other real time at the time of the referral. There's no pressure for anybody to necessarily send so many referrals per month, but at the same token, here's what's cool. Amy and Linda are group leaders. They are what we call the big cheese. Now, when you launch a group, you become the big cheese, which means you have the final say, right, Amy? Right, Linda? Right, yes. On who joins your group. Right. Which means that if you get a slouch in your group, you call Uncle Aaron, you're like, hey, man, you got to get this slug out of my group. He is awful. Like, I don't even know why we picked this person, but somebody recommended him. Turns out they're awful. We need them gone. And then I send out the hit crew, right, with the big mouse trap, and bam, gone. That's how it works. So, so you get to choose who's in your group. So just choose wisely. I'm sure they'll tell you in just a second. But ultimately, so we modernized it. The other thing is, too, and I don't know that I've had either one of you take advantage of this yet, but let's look at the platform we're looking at right now. Okay, this is something called Zoom, you guys. If you wanted to, and I realize in the beginning, and Amy and Linda, I'll let you comment on this. When we get there, I'll, I'll ask you. I think at the beginning, it's probably important to meet people face to face, but eventually I believe that you could use this type of technology to actually meet as a group. So, um, and Linda, I know that I've thrown that out to you before. Just let me know if you want to do it. We'll set one up or what have you. And actually we I mean, did. My, my group pretty much said they prefer to meet in person. Like face to face. That's how I right. threw it out to them and they were like, nope. <laughs> That's fine. But you guys, if you want to, you can leverage this type of technology too, because it's really cool. So you guys could all get together and it looks like the Brady Bunch and you can do your thing, all right? And so we'll talk about that. All right, so one last thing I wanna tell you guys before I start asking some questions and allow you guys to ask some questions as well, I'm gonna to try to open this up to you guys is this. The idea behind, uh, besides the Cheddar Stacks uh, idea and the platform and networking and all that stuff is this. The one thing that I noticed being in the mortgage business for years and being involved with network groups and being involved with uh, trying to get more business for real estate agents and things like that is this. It's like, it's like, um, you know, I always tell this story and, it's, and it's, it's, it's truly something I think that would hit home with everybody. I always tell everybody this, I preface it like this. You know what guys, my mom loves me, but she never sends me any business, right? And, and that's kind of like, uh, you know, something that I think everybody can relate with right? It's like we all have friends and family and people that know us and know that we're in the mortgage business. But for some reason, I don't get any business from them, right? It's like, why do I not get business for them? And so part of the, uh, the training that we try to do within Shutter Stacks is try to help people understand what a referral looks like, but not just from the mortgage side of things, you know, I use that example of my mom being at lunch with her best friend and my best, her best friend saying that her daughter's moving or looking to buy a new house somewhere. And my mom would totally miss the opportunity. Instead, she'll say, oh, that's a great area. Can you pass me the salt? You know, and it's like, ah, oh, you know, <laughs> so how do I get my mom to recognize the opportunities exist? But here's the thing. Once you start looking at building a network group and, um, uh, you start adding these different professionals in and I'm going to have Amy and Linda tell you who, who they've got in. I might be putting you girls on the spot if you can remember what your profession <laughs> are, right? But when you start getting those professionals, here's the thing. Then it's a, it's a, again, it comes down to training each other and learning from each other. Where are those synergies in that group? Like it's easy for all of us to realize that a real estate agent can clearly refer business to me as a mortgage originator right? That's easy. But how do I get business from an insurance agent? You know, the insurance agent easily can see how he gets business from me, but how do I get business from him, right? Or a financial advisor or an electrician or a plumber, you, you know, it goes on like that. 
So that's kind of the, the history, if you will, of why we decided that we really wanted to focus on this and create some additional tools for it so we could help our mortgage loan originators grow because in the end, I don't want to be known as just an education provider. To be quite frank with you, I don't even like doing the education thing. You know, <laughs> who the hell would? Who would want to train the same thing every day? It's like Groundhog Day, right? Except for I got new students, you know? Uh, and I tell you guys all the time, every moment that you're looking at me when I'm doing that CE thing, a piece of me is dying. <laughs> I mean, you have no idea, right? Uh, okay. Wow. I know. Is that too deep? You guys, I'm sorry. It's too deep. All right. So I brought these two in to, to help me out a little bit, okay? One of the things that I think that people think is really hard to do is you know, get people to commit to coming into a group. And so I'd like to see if I can get some comments from these two uh, as far as like, was there hesitations on their part for getting started? Was there, um, was there any bigger hurdle that they had to get through? Um, or any questions that you guys could type into the chat log? Now listen up, if you type into the chat log, if you go to where it says two, it'll say to all panelists. I want you to hit the arrow next to it and it'll open up a box and change that to all panelists and attendees. That way we can all see your questions, okay? That's gonna be really important. And on top of that, if we need to, we can turn a mic on. Um, you know, I don't see why we couldn't uh, turn on mics as well, unless you've got barking dogs and things like that, then we got a problem. Um, one thing I will tell you, when you join this thing, I sent you a series of emails. You have access to stream cheese. I don't know how many of you are going there or not going there, but there's clearly some tools there for you. Um, in addition to that, I sent you a, a, a tactical marketing plan, which gave you a pretty specific list of who you could uh, go after. And so um, anyway, speaking of all that, all right, who wants to go first with answering some questions? Amy, your name starts with an A, like mine. <laughs> Of course. Why don't you throw me under the bus? Sure. Yeah. Why not? And then listen, everybody that's on here, Angela, Christina, Evan, if you guys have some questions, okay, feel free to type your question into that chat log and we will get to it as we can. But I think that. And so, you can help with that because I'm on yeah. the iPad. So it kind of takes, so it's either, I'm either on the yep. screen or I'm here on the or screen. not. Right. I get you. I'll help you. Thank okay. You. So Amy, what what tip or what comment or what encouragement would you give somebody who's thinking about starting a Cheddar Stacks group or what, and I'm going to give, this is a lot I'm throwing at you, or what do you think was um, for you maybe the biggest hurdle of starting a Cheddar Stacks group? Um, just any anything, I'm just giving you a couple of ideas. I'm throwing, okay. you can go anywhere you want there, okay? But uh, what would you like to comment on that? How would you? I the first thing I did was I reached out to my friends in the business and I, let me back up a little bit. B and I, you talked about B and I, well, I know that I, I'm not B and I material. However, I am part of team, but it took me two years to get into team. And before I could even get into team, when I had this opportunity come up, I said, why do I need team? Why do I need B and I? forget this. It was exact, exactly what you said. If I can't get into any one of these groups, I need to have my own networking group because I knew I needed to network more. So I already had this kind of brewing in the back of my mind. So I just literally, after I got the opportunity from you, I picked up the phone and I called some friends of the business. And I, I was very strategic on who, because I wanted to make sure that it's somebody that I felt would buy into the program. Number one, and number two would actually show up. <laughs> big deal. That's right? big deal. I mean, show up. We talk <laughs> about attendance on webinars. We talk about, right? In how many of the calls we've been on, Aaron. So the whole point is who's going to actually show up and buy in? And I picked up the phone and I said, here's the deal. We've all been talking about this. We've all been talking about the fact that we need to get our business from different places. And networking is, has to be at the forefront because our networking has to change. It's not necessarily just walking into real estate offices or what have you like we used to. And so what do you think? I'm thinking about doing this. And I, I committed to Aaron a year of beta and he has a great idea. And, you know, we could track referrals and kind of 
did my pitch and everybody said they liked the idea. It really, it was call my friends because they were, I knew they weren't going to meet me up. And then I said, okay, you want in? And I had a vast majority say yes. And then little by little, I think I started off with what, four or five? Yeah, I think the original launch we did with you and Linda was five. Right. And it's, it's funny because I realized, boy, I have about two or three more that I have to add that I haven't added the last couple of meetings. I'm thinking, what am I doing? I completely haven't even created their login and password. But um, as you start to gain momentum, it's literally about just sharing that information with whomever you've chosen and then say, this is our group. It's not my group, it's our group. We all want to, to make some cheddar. I always, I do the whole piece, we're, we're on this to make some cheddar. So if that's what we're doing, we have to be connectors now. So who do you want to invite in? And that's really how we do it. And so, um, you know, again, you guys, uh, Nagari, I saw your email, that's, a, that's interesting to me because I actually have an auto process set up. Gary said he signed up around uh, October was looking for a follow-up email and he said he talked to a couple of people about getting in his network but this is the last email I received from me which is weird because I have an auto process set up for everybody else so I'm interested to find out anybody else that's on here right now are you getting my when you signed up for this if any of you guys signed up let's just say like in the last 30 days did you not get a series of about six different emails from me over a week those of you that maybe signed up in the last 30 days anybody Help a brother out here. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make sure this thing is, is uh, working. So LK Angela says, yes, I got a few. Okay. All right. So no problem. So it could be that you signed up before the auto processes were in and I was sending emails out a little different format. So uh, we'll get you caught up on that. I apologize. So um, I'm curious, uh, Amy, you know, one of the things that we do is of course we have the, uh, uh, the list. And I'm gonna show them just real quick. I'm gonna share my screen for those of you that are on here. So um, you should be looking at what we call the cheese wheel. And what this is, is really more of a memory jogger, if you will, you guys. And what we're trying to do is give you the opportunity to be able to, to, to think about, okay, who do I know that is a real estate agent or a builder rep or accountant or financial advisor or insurance agent? And so we're trying to give you like the top, and I think we came up with about I don't know, 30, 30 or 31 people. Yeah, but what's interesting though is, and I'll, I'm gonna jump off of that for a second. What's interesting though is when you look at this list and, you, and then you go back and you look at how many, the different people that Amy has in her list, and you look at the different people that Linda has in hers, some of the people don't even match the, the types of professions that are in this list. And they thought outside of the box and said, well, hey, because Linda, didn't you have, a, uh, was one of your people like a, I have a Mary Kay lady. Yeah, a Mary Kay lady and a, and a and, Facebook marketer, wasn't it? Who had um, that you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So it was interesting. So, all right. And it was a matter of talking to them to find out who their connections are. The Mary Kay lady is on the chamber. She's really active in the community. She knows tons of people. So it was kind of like a no brainer. Because yeah. I always thought, Mary Kay, uh uh. <laughs> yeah, right. But she like, knows so many people. It, it, you know what? And that's what it's about. It's like finding that one person that connects you with so many others. Because p- some people are just connectors. Right. You know, they just are. Um, mm-hmm. I, I, I feel like I'm a little bit of a connector just because I have this platform and I'm all over the United States. And so, you know, Amy, you know, Amy and, and her uh, verified MLO group, like she works with another group and uh, where jo- Jojo's from where? Like Connecticut, right? And then Gabby's in Texas and okay. we've got, you know, some Indiana people. And, and so, yeah, it's kind of fun. So uh, Linda, what could you, uh, what, what advice or is there anything that was difficult for you or anything, one thing that you did that kind of got you started or what, any, any tips or comments that you can make? Uh, yeah, I did a lot of thinking before I contacted anybody about the key people that I wanted in my group. So I sat down and strategized first and went, Okay, I want this realtor. She's the number one realtor in my county. I want this insurance agent. I want, you know, this investment rep. So I started with a core group of five, of five um, which consisted of a realtor, a builder, an insurance agent, an investment rep, 
and an estate attorney is what I started with, I think. And um, we've added to that. Um, but just, I met with each one of them one-on-one, -on -one, took them to coffee, talked to them about the network. And just most of them I knew had been in other network groups with me. So I kind of emphasized the difference between this network group and any other net group, network group that I'd gone to. So, and I've been to BNI and you get the papers and they're, Sometimes I just wondered if they just filled in names because they had to have so many leads. Because right. I'd call people and they'd say, I'm not interested at all. Um, so I talked to them mostly about the difference between this network group, how it is designed with certain um, careers in mind that refer them, can refer to each other the most. Right. And about the technology and I never had in the first four, well, first six people, I never had anybody say no. They were just really excited about the program, the technology, the app that we have. And um, so they all joined on and we've been adding kind of slowly, but we're up to, I think, 13. Yeah, I think you are 13 or 14. And, and, yeah, and 13, 14, somewhere in there. Too. I think I'm somewhere there too. Yeah, the, um, the one thing that, I talked to my group about recently was you know moving forward and what's the long-term plan and everybody has said they want to continue because you know we had to have the realistic conversation it's the new year so now what what are people what are people doing their change of plans how they're going to market for the new year what's going on in their business etc so i just said you know talk to me what do you want um everybody wants to continue the one thing they like about our group is we are not that pressure. We're not, yeah. there's, you know, there's a buy-in when you have skin in the game. However, the flip side is the, the pressure and then you give the unrealistic referrals that really are just the piece of paper because you figure, well, you have skin in the game, you gotta show up, you gotta just put something down on that paper and it's not really a good referral. Where we have the opportunity to really create the trust with this group, um, people like each other they've actually yeah, I agree. left the group and they've gone and done different projects together outside of of the referral circle yeah. because they're trying to drum up business in their own little arena but it's not necessarily about mandating you have to give a referral today it's not like that at all they're just everybody's helping each other um and we've actually morphed into a little bit of a uh, like a breakfast club we all take turns bringing in some some goodies nice. and uh we share if somebody has a new pitch they want to pitch and they need a room you know for safe critiquing we we allow that um we got into some community a couple community service events and whoever wanted to show up could show up and there was some of us that couldn't show up so we donated the waters and the granola bars and all those kind of things so they could go, the people that were attending could go to these events. And it's just really been like a support group. Oh, and by the way, we're using this app kind of a thing. So it's, it's we took the pressure yeah. off of forcing the referral and forcing the use of the app as much um, to focus more on trusting each other and getting to know each other so we can be comfortable giving awesome. each other business. Yeah, my group has kind of been the same way. We've built a cohesiveness between the group and everybody trusts each other. I mean, we even discussed and helped give personal advice to some of the people. Right. I, right. Getting that friendly. That's so it's been really good. So yeah. let me, let me, I'm going to parlay off of that because Victor had a good question that actually will, will, will uh, bode well with what you just said, Linda. So his, his question is, you know, I have some business referrals in different counties, um, you know, than, than maybe local business. Um, he said, could I double up on realtors and attorneys? <clears throat> so I've always answer, answered this question with, it, with a question. Uh, how did it work out for you when you were in like fifth grade and you're like two girls at one time? Just saying, Victor, how'd that work out for you? <laughs> Right. <laughs> what happened when the one found out about the other one? I'm just saying. Um, my thoughts on this are, and the way we built the platform, you got Victor says not good. 
Um, <laughs> so my thoughts are when we built this platform was, you know what? It, it really is about, like Linda just said, it's about creating relationships. And what Amy just said about creating relationships, you know, and it's about building strong bonds with those relationships and uh, people trusting each other. Like they, they just mentioned. And then if you can't trust that you're getting all the business from that person, when that opportunity presents itself and they're instead two timing you with somebody else on the side, you know, it just doesn't work. Now here's the thing, you guys, it doesn't mean that Amy doesn't work with a bunch of different real estate agents that Linda doesn't work with a bunch of different real estate agents. They just don't work with them in the cheddar stacks platform. So it's, this is just one pillar of their business. You know, it's not the entire way they do business. It's one pillar of their business that helps them generate a couple additional leads per month. And as they grow that network up to hopefully 30 people in their platform, that couple may end up being five or six transactions a month or 10 transactions a month, depending on how well we do of bringing those people in that trust us and send us the business and we can get in their head and say, okay, listen, Mr. Insurance agent, there are opportunities for you to send business to me. Let me tell you how this works. Now, by the way, I would tell you guys all how to get a bunch of business from a real estate agent, except for you'd have to be a member of Cheddar Stacks to get it because it's already in the training. And so is the letter. And so is everything you need to do. By the way, you guys, if you didn't know this, if you're signed up for Cheddar Stacks, like Mark, or, you know, you can go to cheddarstacks.com forward slash string. And all of the training is in there right now, okay? And you can get all the way up to, I think, lesson six, and then I cut you off until you become a member. But Linda and Amy can get into seven and eight. And by the way, Amy, Linda, I know I know I owe the follow-up to that last one I did. I have been so doggone busy with CE. Please. <laughs> I was melting, you know? So, um, yeah. But I am leaving in, uh, the first week of January like I always do. I always take the first week of January off. I rent a cabin in the woods. And uh, yeah, I go and I, I write. So I'm going to finish that and finish okay. probably about five. I think I have five lessons on the okay. slate that I'm going to finish. And I'll come back and cut the videos. And then boom, those will be available to the members as well. And I get good. some good stuff coming. Um, okay. But anyway, another thing um, we kind of do our group a little bit differently. We do not meet every week. We meet right. every two weeks. Um, and that's what my group chose. And I had some concern about that at first about, you know, how could we develop cohesiveness and that kind of thing. But it's worked really well for our group. I was going to ask I, you guys that. I never speak as well. Okay, you remember the week. So let me ask you guys a question, though, about your meetings in particular. And so, and then also, do you guys recommend to everybody else that's on here would you recommend because i certainly think it's a good idea but does have, have you guys done this as well when you have these every other week meetings do you guys also have individual maybe schedule lunch individually with somebody every once in a while and then really kind of work through okay where yes. are, where can i provide leads to you where can you provide leads to me because if you don't do yes. that could you guys comment Can't on that we follow your meeting agenda and that's, you know, everybody, we at first did the draw the names, but yeah. like, okay, who hasn't met with who? And we just do those one-on-one, -on -one, get to know the other person and talk about mm -hmm. how you can refer business back and forth. What Linda's referring to is when you, when you get this and you get into your, uh, your action plan and all that, uh, there's another lesson in there about how to put a meeting on and there's a meeting agenda in there And one of the cool things about it is basically somebody gets an opportunity to get up and talk a little about themselves and again Teach me how to refer business to you teach me I will refer you business if you tell me what a referral looks like, but I'm not in the This business or that business or whatever so I wouldn't you know I need to hear it from you but what we do then is Everybody takes a number, we put names in a hat, and everybody draws one out, or half the group does. And then that's who you have to meet with that next week, one-on-one, -on -one, to try to figure out where are those synergies between me, Aaron, and you, Linda, or you, Amy, how can we send business to each other, right? And that's really a pivotal point. Uh, Amy, can you tell me a little bit about how you might run your meetings? Do you do anything different? Have you done anything really cool in your meetings that uh, as, as uh done spectacular things for you guys or I will say that 
um, there's two meetings in particular that we really, really enjoyed. The first, we had an author of, um, who actually runs a, a breast cancer nonprofit in Pasadena. And she just finished writing the book. And the book is something, I can't remember the exact title, so I'm paraphrasing. Um, mammograms do not prevent breast cancer or something to that effect, or they don't cure breast cancer. She came and she spoke to the group. And we did an open invite. So moms and cousins and sisters and girlfriends and anybody, anybody that was, that's a pretty loose and large word that you want to invite to learn about breast cancer awareness. And we did it, of course, in conjunction with Breast Cancer Awareness Month. By all means, come and listen. And this, is, this happens to be our, our group. And we'd love to, you know, it, for those of you who have never been with us before, join us. So that was a really big hit. And it really helped the author because she was trying to get her book launched and the whole thing. So it was, awesome. again, it's all about connecting she ended up getting a couple of patients out of the group because of what they learned. And we, it was just, you know, fun fact day. Let me tell that you. That was a win-win. Yeah. Absolutely. And then um, the second was we had a college student, a business, business major, who's a senior in college and um, one of the, working on a project. In this project, they have to actually create a company, CEO, CFO, blah, 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 blah. And they actually had a $2,500 loan from Wells Fargo. Long story short, they had to create a product and they had to sell a product. And they had, and what did they do? They, she came to our group to pitch to our group. So now she had a bunch of business people in the room. This student, she looked so nervous. I was like this because she's having to pitch. But she had to pitch her product to all of us because we had to, we gave her the opportunity to be critiqued oh, when she's cool. out in the real world mm -hmm. selling her product and she she was amazing and she knocked our socks off and we all thought oh my gosh we need to go back to school <laughs> but it was so cool and she ended up getting customers out of us because we were just so impressed so um we invited out outside speakers and and what happened this young girl who's going to graduate she wants to come back and she wants to join our networking group because she realized wow, there's a whole bunch of people in that group. And I think that there's something to this networking thing that you keep telling me about. Yeah. So awesome. it was kind of nice. So a question, um, I had a question on the board here from Christine. She said, Aaron, do you have any LOs now who are still in B&I and are also in a Cheddar Stacks group? <clears throat> I'm in team. I'm not in B&I, I'm in team. And yeah. I'm in Cheddar Stacks. So here's the thing. Yeah, I'm in other networking groups too, but not B&I. Right. And we don't have anything in our bylaws that says that you can't be part of another group. Ours only says that, listen, we encourage you, well, we'll only allow you to be in one Cheddar Stacks group. Right. But we would never limit you on adding another pillar of business because in the end, that's what it's all about. You know, yeah, we've got a little bit different style of things. B&I does things a little bit differently. Uh, I think we're a little bit more loose about things and a little bit more... Um, I mean, not loose from a standpoint, we're not going to give you solid structure and things like that. But in the same token, we like to have fun, man. You know, so it, it's just about fun. So it's kind of, you know, everything's, that's why we call it, you know, networking made cheesy, you know, or easy, you know, but with a little small CH. Um, so, and then, you know, you'll see in some of the training stuff, but I'll do some, the occasional cheese pun. I just can't help myself. I don't know. But anyway, um, it just is what it is. So um, let me ask you, uh, ladies, this. Uh, how much is Cheddar Stacks costing you right now? Like money-wise? Yeah. Zero? Yeah. Amy? The biggest expense is if it's my turn to bring breakfast. Right. And I so <laughs> Cheddar Stacks. Bagels, bagels and donuts. And, and um, how much am I currently charging your members? Zero. Zero. Yeah. Now, eventually, you guys, come on. Uh, a brother wants to make some money at some point in time, <laughs> but I, I have to have, you know, good, like, like I'll give you an example. Like I need the good feedback from you guys. So Linda, this is the weirdest thing. So we get Linda's group launch, right? Everything's fine. Mobile apps working except for Linda for whatever reason, <laughs> like Linda's phone 
won't uh, get a notification and you, you get it real time. Hey, it's a great day, G-R-A-T-E, cheese pun. You've got new cheese from Aaron, except for Linda's phone yeah. won't do it. So Linda came back and said, I don't know what it is. Like if I go to my cheese, it's there, but it doesn't send me a notification. So we went through this and through this. And then Linda said, you know, she said, what if we did, what if you guys built like an email backup system? So like when it sent the notification, it tagged an email that was in the system and then it fired off an email at the exact same time. And I said, oh, that's a great idea, but that's going to take a minute. But that feedback, because of that problem that Linda had, and I'm, Linda's on here so she can confirm, yep. uh, two weeks ago, I emailed Linda and I said, hey, great news, your idea has been implemented. So now the Cheddar Stack system not only notifies you via an immediate message notification, it fires off an email to your email system and lets you know you got a new lead. And then, of course, it's all tracked in the system, which is pretty fantastic. Now, this is why I do it for free right now. So I give everybody for free. You guys are all free. All of your group members are free, 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 free. And I've looked at the numbers on this, and I probably, I hate to say it, but I don't have enough, in my opinion, enough problems uh, coming at me or feedback coming at me and enough volume coming at me. So that, that I don't think I'm going to be able to monetize it in 2019 like I said I was. So, Amy, Linda, might as well tell your group Yay! members now. <laughs> I'm going to charge them in January. It's going to remain free. Yeah, happy face. <laughs> All right. So, it's going to remain free for at least another six months. At nice. least. Okay. Yeah. And I may not, I may not monetize in 2019. That will be my first announcement. I know, uh, right? We start right after. Yeah, after the really. <laughs> so, so, so you guys have no pressure to, to get everybody in this group. And you can tell them, be honest with them, you guys. I mean, it's not like Amy and Linda didn't tell them, hey, look, right now this is a beta, so it's all free. But when he does start monetizing it, he's going to charge us for the technology. It's 25 bucks a month. I mean, plus you'll be able to track everything right here. I mean, you can see exactly how many leads you've got, how much you've closed, how much money you've got. I mean, you literally just log in your dashboard and it pulls everything up, you know, like how many closes, how much cheese you sent, how much you received, how much revenue you received. It's all right there. So it's not like they couldn't say, well, is this worth 25 bucks a month to me? You know, well, when you look down and say, dang, I got 32 leads last year and I actually closed 26 of them. Why? Because they were quality leads. They weren't a bunch of crap pieces of paper, mm -hmm. just random names on it. You know, these, yeah. So anyway. I, and I think that that's true. Do you, I, you probably agree, Linda. I, I think yeah. um, because we know each other and we've gotten to know each other, when we're giving each other a referral, it's somebody that we, I mean, it's friends, family, it's war, much warmer Solid. lead as opposed to just, a, oh, hey, I got a name. It's so. why bother? Don't yeah. Really get that. I, I know in our group, that's how we are. I think, and also each person in the group knows, like for example, me, we've all talked about what makes us unique in our industry. Why should they send business to me versus another LO? And so they know that I'm gonna spend that extra time with every customer, right. talk to them about, about credit, credit counsel them if I have to, or just walk them through and explain everything when other lenders won't do that. Right. Uh, and so they feel very comfortable sending things to me and they'll tell the customer, oh, she'll walk you through the transaction. She'll spend whatever time there needs to be spent with you. So even if it's an insurance agent sending me a referral from one of her customers, she's already prepped that customer and said, oh, Linda's great. She'll just walk you through the whole thing. I know you're a first time home buyer and she'll take care of you. Right. And, and then, and then when you, you can get a better lead than that. Right. Absolutely. And, and when you see these people in other settings, because we go to chamber events, we go to all these other events as well. We're network. We're not just networking in cheddar stacks. That's not right. the only group we're part of. Um, so when we see them, it almost adds credibility to each other. I, Oh, they're really working just as hard as I'm working. So when we're in the early stages, getting to know each other, 
oh yeah, I really can trust. It was a good move by me calling that person. And, and they say, oh, it was a good move because she really is showing up. She's really doing exactly what she said she's going to do. She's actually really trying to network. So it builds the credibility on both sides. Yeah. Right. And so you guys, again, if you do end up getting somebody in your group, maybe it was a recommendation. Like, for example, there's a, there's a, there's a class under string cheese. If you go to, again, cheddarstacks.com forward slash string, one of the first lessons I teach you is, you know, on how to build the first two are how to build cheddar stacks groups. One of the important one, important ones, and I can't remember exactly which lesson is might be one might be a lesson two. I can see right here. Actually, it is lesson one and it's called each one reach one. And what an important message to be able to put out there because once you get your core group, which by the way, it only takes five to launch. Amy launched with five, Linda launched with five, all the other people launched with five people. I can tell you this and I want to find out if Amy and Linda, if you agree with me, the real estate agent ends up being one of the key people. And I'll tell you why. Think about how a home purchase goes, you know, they walk in and they're looking at the house and like, oh, it's going to need carpet or, oh, it's going to need a replacement of hardwoods, you know, or something comes back and there's lead paint, but we need a painter or, well, we'd want to put a fence in because we've got a big dog. Think about it. Well, I know an electrician. I know a painter. I know a fence guy. I know a mortgage person who can do the financing. I know, you know, yep. a carpet guy. I know a hardwood guy. I mean, so the, the real estate person really is kind of the key but again it only takes five to launch and then you got to count on everybody to buy into this idea you got to show them each one reach one and the group success is not an accident we all have to do our part because if you if everybody finds one person you'd be amazed you could take a group from five people to 30 people in literally a couple weeks now most groups don't build that fast you know, because you're going to be very careful about who you're bringing in. Because if you bring in the wrong person, now now we got to figure out, okay, the uncomfortable moment where we got to say, okay, we got to get rid of this person. Yeah. And then you got to call Aaron. And we do we really do that. Here's how we get rid of people, by the way. Here's how here's what we would do. Okay. But we jokingly call it cutting the cheese, by the way. Sorry, cheese. <laughs> um, but what we do is we call that person. We say, hey, listen. You know, it looks like based on your uh, performance where it doesn't look like you're sending any leads to anybody in your group, the fact that you're really not showing up to group meetings, um, it looks like, you know, that it, maybe you're just not a good fit. So that's what we've done. We'll call them and say, it looks like you're just not a good fit. Why don't we do this? Are you a believer in the Cheddar Stacks program? Because if you are, why don't we just start your own group? It takes the pressure off of that group. So if Amy, if that was a bad apple in your group, takes pressure off you guys because I'll make the call and then I'll, pro I'll promote them up to like running their own group. You can't imagine when somebody's got a bad attitude or they're like, that's right. That's right. Cause I should be running my own group. We have to you know? have <laughs> And then it's, they just fade away. They fade away, you know? And then, but that's why it's so important is to make sure that you're finding, you know, the right person for your group. And when, and if you make a mistake, let's just correct it and then move on because uh, again, because then you're not going to be as cohesive, that trust isn't going to be there, and the group's not going to grow. So you got to be very aware of that because you're in charge. You're the group leader. You're the big cheese. And by the way, you guys, just one more thing. When we monetize, big cheeses don't pay because you're the group leader. That's even better. Yeah. Yes, I like that. <laughs> yeah. So because you're taking on the extra responsibility. Okay, Evan, I'll send you the replay anyway. Evan's got to jump. We're getting ready to end this thing at about, you know, we're, we're 12 minutes out. I told you only one hour. I'm going to make sure I keep that promise. Um, okay, so uh, any other, if does anybody have any other questions they want to throw on here, uh, feel free to do that. Now, um, Amy and Linda, you know, what would you say if it was just you? And somebody on this, you know, list and they say, come on, Amy, I mean, you know, should I really do this or is it, you know, uh, you know, uh, or is this thing, should I do this? It, it just seems hard. It seems like a lot of work. I'm just kind of busy. You know, I don't know if this is for me. What would you say? Could you, do you have anything to say to them that would encourage them to get off their mm -hmm. backside? You know, that's what I thought when I first got all of the stuff that's, Oh, this is so much. I can't do this. 
And then I thought, no, I'm going to give it a stab. It's really not that hard. There's really not that much preparation for the meanings or not that much to do. The biggest thing is just getting your core group started and reaching out to your core group. And I would just say that sit down and figure out who you want in that core group and then go after those people and try to get them excited and fired up about how this group is going to work for them. Nice. I think especially in our community, meaning the lending community, um, we're seeing so many changes and we're having to ship again, right? Mm -hmm. How much networking is too much networking? I, I don't think there's <laughs> too much, right? <laughs> I mean, if there's any opportunity to network and you have control of it, I, I, I mean, why wouldn't you do it? Yeah. It doesn't have to be huge. It could be as small as you want to be. The point is you're going to want to grow it because after a while, you're going to say, okay, I've heard her pitch a few times. I'd like some fresh meat, right. you know, so, so to speak. But, but the point is if you're constantly with these people and you're growing the relationships, that's another opportunity to network another week, another something else on your calendar to network, yep. right? Yep. And then you never know. It could turn into referral. Yeah. And that's what we're going for, right? That's what we're going for. I shared with my group just our last meeting, actually, I had read a book called The Connector's Way. That is an awesome book. And I shared several of the things from my, with my group. Just, it just talks about connecting and how important that is to business and encouraged all my group to read that book. But I would encourage you to get the book and read it too. It just, it talks a lot about networking and other just ways to connect to people meaningfully for your business. Great, great suggestion. Now, for those of you guys who are on here, listen, you only have to find, you only have to find four other people, okay, right. to do this. Once you find the four other people, you're the fifth one, okay? Here's what happens. What we do is we do a live meeting like this. Everybody can talk, everybody can see each other, and we will do a launch. When we do the launch, believe me, I will jump in here and encourage every one of those people that you brought into this meeting. I'll, I will bring the enthusiasm. I will bring the direction. I will show them where the training's at. I will tell them that they are responsible for helping grow this group, okay? That it's not just on your shoulders, but all you got to do is find those first four. And, and then, of course, you'll still have to nurture it from there. But I'm telling you, it's going to be another person, me, jumping in the beginning and giving them, you know, uh, everything I can out of the gate to encourage them to do their part to build that group and to build that trust and what they need to do. So they're not just hearing it from you, okay, out of the gate. They're, you know, the, the founder of Jutter Stacks is willing to jump on a meeting with me. Oh, that sounds fantastic. It's not that big of a deal. But anyway, <laughs> you know. So, but, but we'll do a launch meeting. And uh, so we did that for Amy's group. We did that for Linda's group. And then at any point in time, if you guys want to actually do a meeting and invite me to it, you can invite me to it. So I also do these training pieces, which you'll see on String Cheese. And you can use, and I'll just show you real quick. You can use these training sessions as well. If you don't have other speakers to come in or if you don't have somebody to speak that particular day, you could say, okay, well, we're going to talk about why we aren't getting more referrals and what to do about it. Each one of these, and Linda and Amy can attest, I don't do any more than about 15 minutes max. So I, I try to keep my training to, to no more than 15 minutes, okay? Um, but all these are available to you, you know, how to conduct a meeting, a strategy we did for Facebook. Uh, here's where I bumped my head and started a group at Jiffy Lube. You'll see. <laughs> You're like, wait, what? Started a group of Jiffy Lube. <clears throat> so anyway, but all that's available to you even right now just to help you get started. But, you know, you'll have the support. Um, and then ultimately, we're still working on this. We haven't got this up yet. And this is the other reason why I'm not monetizing yet, Amy and Linda and everybody else, is we have not finished just because we've had some of the projects that have pressed us a little bit. So we knew that this was kind of a big deal. We haven't finished... Um, Oh, what the heck is it called? Uh, oh, we haven't finished the community link yet. 
And the community link was one where we were supposed to be able to go in and share ideas and strategies that were more like question based type things. So it was kind of be kind of like a more of a resource <laughs> or even a place where if you had a deal that was outside of your parameter and you were looking for another group or another person to be able to help one of your family members or something like that in another state, you could post something there and then all members could see it, comment, things like that. So that was one of the other things that kind of pushed me uh, back a little bit on uh, monetizing. But um, anyway, so that's, that's just one more thing that we're going to do. Um, all right. So does anybody else on here have any other questions while I've got Linda here and Amy here? Um, any other questions that you guys can think of that you would want to ask of uh, my two uh, biggest group leaders right here, mortgage loan originators, one in Indiana, one in California. And I did not pay you to come here today, ladies, right? No. No. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Christina, how many beta groups are running? Oh, uh, yeah. Why you put me on the spot like that? Let's see. Uh, dashboard. Admin. There are 539, I know, right? Thanks, Christina. There are 539 members in Cheddarstacks right now. So really? what that breaks down into groups, um, I don't know, because I'm not in the admin page. All I can see is the member list, 539, so anyway. But that's not, that's not groups, that's members. And you gotta keep in mind, Linda and Amy have the two biggest groups and they're both sitting around 14 people and both getting ready to add more people. So it's a slow process, you start out at five. And what we usually see is you'll start out at five and then you'll, you'll go from five to 10 like that. And then it's just like, <laughs> Right, okay, and then all of a sudden you hit the wall. Yeah, <laughs> and all of a sudden you're like, um, you know, and then it's a slow process, but you got to lean on those people in your group. Okay. Although I have a person who just joined my group that her boss is going to pay for a party and invite all his friends to help grow our group. Nice. Awesome. How about that? Awesome. How about that? So I'm looking forward to that. So Gary wants to know how about how many leads do you guys get a month? When I hit you up the other day and said, how many leads do you get a month? You said... You know, I get sometimes, you know, it's only one lead a month. Sometimes it's a yeah. couple of leads a month. One to two. Yeah. And, one and two. about one to two as well. So if you guys got, so if you got 12 to 24 additional leads, and I think about this too, their groups aren't even halfway yet. So they're only, they're sitting at 12 to 14. I don't remember what your numbers were exactly, but 12 to 14 people. Okay. And they're getting one to two transactions a month out of this. So if you're getting you know, 12 to 24, or, or I'll say referrals, uh, you know, but they're high quality. They're not crud. Yeah. They're, they're like, hey, this person's looking to buy a home and I know them, you know. Oh, That's cool. the key. They're, they're not just a lead. Yeah. It's very, very different. I mean, it's literally, yeah. I can pick up the phone and talk to these people. No, it doesn't turn into a transaction all the time. It seems like I, I all yeah. I went through a phase where, can you give advice to my friend and can you help out? And of course you do that because that's just part of, part of what we do. Right. Um, so you have, you get your one to two leads or referrals a month. And then, you know, I mean, just by regular math, I mean, it cut really how many transactions does it equate to maybe half, right? Maybe a little bit less than half. What do you think, Linda? Yeah, maybe half. I mean, yeah. they're warm leads. They're very warm yeah. leads. Yeah, and, they, and should, the they football, should be. It's the football that can take six to 12 months, but those people, you have the credibility and they're willing to work with you long haul. I, right. I don't know. I just feel like it's just a very different referral, very different lead yeah. than the other networking groups that I'm involved in. And also for your people in the group, I mean, I know my investment rep has had three or four leads recently that he's closed business on. Uh, the insurance agent has closed business through our network. My estate attorney has had business through the network. Um, trying to think, the builder has. Um, 
I have a radio rep, and she's gotten business through the group. Um, so, I mean, it's working. The group is referring leads to other people in the group that they trust. Yeah, and so, and in the end, you guys, again, as their group builds and as your group builds, then the, the higher percent, you know, the, the higher number of referrals that you will get from that. So, you know, if we're getting, you know, a couple of leads a month right now out of, out of 12 people, then what are we gonna get out of 24? Or, you know, the numbers we're hoping are gonna double there too. Maybe we're getting four to six leads a month. Maybe we're getting more. I will tell you this though, if you're not, it comes down to, and it's one of the, one of the lessons that I have in here, and I think it's lesson four, if you're not getting enough referrals, there is a reason why you're not getting enough. And it really comes down to, again, for you guys, not just developing your own friends and family, but those relationships that you're building within your group, you have to sit down and figure out where the synergies are because they are there. It just might take a couple of one-on-ones together and talking about what they do and learning a little bit more about their process, you know, um, uh, and, and then once you kind of get an idea of what their process is for how they handle a client, then you realize that, oh my goodness, there it is. The key, the key to unlock this door is right there. We just didn't see it. You know, I'll give you one example before I cut this thing off. The insurance agent, as I said earlier, that agent, again, he knows how to get business from you because every time you close a loan, you got to have homeowner's insurance, but he has no idea how to send you business. But I can tell you this, the lessons that's in, the lesson that's in this thing right here, when we tested it, 18 mortgage leads came off of it. 18 from one letter, one time. So It does work too. My insurance agent is a state farm rep. She can do her own mortgages because they have mortgage ability, but she sent me three leads so far. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, listen, I promised these guys it would only be an hour. We are at an hour. I cannot thank you, Linda McGinnity and Amy Valdivia. You're welcome, Aaron. For being part of this today. Everybody that's on here, I would encourage you guys to jump into Cheddar Stacks. You've probably already signed up if you haven't. It's cheddarstacks.com forward slash sign up. Just go through the process. It'll email you everything. Print out that tactical marketing plan and start going through the training at www dot cheddarstacks.com forward slash string it's all right there and it's free until uh, i think lesson six or so and then once you find four other people who would love to join you that are like-minded and would love to have some referrals coming their way and build a large group let me know reach out to me at aaron at my mortgage trainer or aaron at cheddar stacks and let me know and i'll schedule a launch meeting for you guys and we'll get you guys uh going from there um, again, appreciate the opportunity to work with all of you. Uh, again, Linda, Amy, much love to you. And everybody just go out there and make it a great G-R-A-T-E day. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you.